Hi everyone, Laura from NitroPack here. I am super excited to walk you through the latest upgrades in the NitroPack web app. They are focused on making sure every tool and setting is easy for you to access and understand. And without further ado, let's jump right in and see what's new. Probably the biggest change yet is the restructuring of your settings. Everything is now organized under cache settings in your main menu, where you'll find the general settings along with webhooks and API keys in separate sections. Under general settings, we have the revamp optimization modes panel, so it's no longer a sticky element following you everywhere. And thanks to the new look and informative descriptions, you can now choose between the different preset modes in a streamlined way, knowing exactly what to expect from the level of optimization you've activated. And if you're wondering where the test mode is, you can now access it through either your dashboard or cache insights just like so. And like everything else in the NitroPack web app, every feature and function is activated via a toggle button. Going back to the general settings menu, you also see the webhooks and API key sections. It's worth highlighting that site ID and site secret are now renamed to API key and API secret key to better point to their actual purpose. Another big change you'll see under cache settings in the main menu is the combining of HTML and CSS into a single submenu, making it more straightforward to handle both aspects at once. And I just know you'll love this one. Upon clicking on view example, under many of the features, you can now enjoy new pop-ups with helpful images and links to dedicated knowledge base articles. Simply click on the learn more button on any of the features to get more details like so. Under HTML and CSS, you'll also find a new feature called HTML normalization. It enables your browser to swiftly analyze and prepare HTML code for subsequent parsing. This helps you streamline web page rendering for, for an enhanced user experience. And again, as every feature in the NitroPack web app, you can simply use the toggle button to activate and deactivate the feature. Under fonts, you'll find a new feature called Optimize Google Hosted Fonts. It basically lets you optimize your Google fonts by hosting them on our CDN. And this feature is available on business subscriptions and any paid plan above our business one. And last but not least, under the general settings, you also find the additional domains feature. It lets you specify additional domains which point to the same NitroPack instance. And this feature is now available on all scale subscriptions. You might have noticed that I've mentioned the toggle button several times now. For every one of you that loves to configure their optimization settings every day, you can now make daily adjustments with an autosave function working in the background. This way you won't have to worry something will get left behind and unsaved. And while we are on the topic of features, you'll find many of the existing ones now have their names revamped, so you know exactly what they do by the name alone. For example, optimize CSS delivery is now simply generate critical CSS. And that's an overarching theme in the new update. So expect simplified terminology across the entire board. And I know many of you have a keen eye and you've already spotted the new recommended by NitroPack and Google Tags. They indicate which features will have the biggest impact on your core web vitals so you can focus on what matters most for your site performance. Now, all that's left to do is go and try the updates for yourself. If you have any questions or run into bumps while exploring the new upgrades, we'd love to hear back from you. Your feedback is invaluable as we continue to evolve the NitroPack web app to serve you better. See you on the faster side.